pretty well. Yeah. 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 In this early part of the summer, things have come to a head here in Boston with the commissioner of police issuing a letter to the heads of the uh, food delivery companies, including DoorDash and Uber Eats, uh, asking them uh, to answer a set of questions related to how they enforce drivers' safety training when it comes to two-wheeled vehicles like mopeds and scooters. We know that many of these scooters that are used legally are used part of the commerce in our city, but far too many are illegal, unregistered, should not be on our street, and these are examples of those scooters we see here today. And let's be clear, we're not going to tolerate it, and riders who think uh, the rules don't apply to them, they're going to see an aggressive enforcement policy that's in place. I started working doing these jobs uh, with using a regular bicycle. But little by little, I identify that the companies, they pushing me to, to, to deliver a coffee, a pizza, or a burger for three, four, five, or six miles away. So, so I, ha I have to transition in an electric bike for two years. And after that, I noticed that I, that I have to change my electric bike and buy a mop, a mop, a moped. So the reason that scooter drivers and moped drivers have come to the attention of the police in Boston is because their volume has increased consequent to the increase in demand for eating a meal anytime, anywhere from your favorite restaurant delivered to you in a short amount of time.